Welcome back, guys. My name is Grayson Knight, and we have a very special episode for you guys today. So normally, at the end of every single one of my interviews, I ask what their favorite baseball movie is. So for the end of the year, me and a special guest of mine are going to rank our top 15, I think, baseball movies on a tier list. So here we go. My special guest is my dad. Hey, 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 hey. And he had that for no reason. Uh, as you can see behind us, we have three baseball movie posters. We have The Sandlot, Field of Dreams, and Major League, my three favorite baseball movies of all time. I feel like I'm, I'm doing the doing the weather. I can't figure out which way to go. <laughs> hey, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, Grayson. Mm -hmm. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on a tier list here. I can show you guys. What right. is a tier list? A tier list is basically like how many, how many, how many of these? How do I full screen this? Ah, I'm on full screen. This I don't know. Enter full screen. Okay. There we go. So what? What is the there tier? There we list? go, guys. Okay, okay, so this is a tier list. So we have S, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So basically, you know, in school when you when you get graded, it's basically that. But in this case, we're gonna like like a lot of people do. We're gonna add S tier. S means like super awesome. Uh, a hundred, the best of the best, perfect. S does okay. Yes. So A is awesome. A, A is, is really awesome. really good movies, but S is like the best of the yeah. best. Okay, mm -hmm. F is garbage. You, like <laughs> for you, I know a lot of your fans or your your guests have said they like Summer Catch mm -hmm. about like the uh, you know college baseball in the Cape Cod. In the Cape Cod, yeah. And uh, you don't like that movie. Mm -hmm. Mom doesn't like that movie. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. But uh, um, yeah, that would be an F movie. It's actually not on our list. But if we were uh -huh. to put Summer mm -hmm. Catch. In your tier list, mm -hmm. where you'd put it, where? Uh, probably like F or E. Okay. Oh, and it's also important, I think, to say is I might like a movie, but yes. the only thing that really matters is baseball podcasts for fun, which mm -hmm. is you. Uh, and one more thing, this is our tier list, not you guys. So this is our opinion. So don't hate on us in the comment section. You know uh, what we should do? I'm gonna try and do a like a, a Facebook live while we're doing it. Okay. Okay. And we'll see if we get people. So you okay. you, you talk a little bit. Okay. So speaking of F tier, I'm gonna start us out with my only, I think my only F tier. Uh let's see where it is. Where is it? 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 So here we go. I cannot find it. You're live. I don't know who's gonna pop up, but we're you're talking about oh, your... I found it. My first F tier movie is Bull Durham, because I have never seen it before. So uh it'll definitely be different for you, but my F tier movie has gotta be Bull Durham. Your your <laughs> my your, F tier movie is your Durham. F tier. Okay, uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna have I'm not not that my vote. Oh, obviously, you're gonna disagree because you've seen it. So. Yeah, not only that have I seen it. Most of most adults who love baseball have seen it. It's one of Kevin Costner's three baseball movies. The other being what? Uh, um, one's right behind you. Feel the dreams. Uh huh. And what? And um. Oh my God! For the love of the game. For love of the game. Right. Okay. So. For you to say that Bull Durham, which uh, is about minor league baseball, life as a minor leaguer, um, is an F tier, it's not really fair. But since you've not seen it, mm -hmm. I'll allow that. But just for your audience, uh, I will tell you know anyone who's listening, uh, Bull Durham is one of the best baseball movies of all time. Um, but because this is your podcast, I'll allow, I guess I'll allow the F tier, but I'm just right, you're wrong. Well, well, <laughs> what would you say? What would you put it? Because I haven't seen it, so we're gonna actually put. What would you put it? So would I would put definitely it? put it in the A range. A tier, okay. Yeah. So that's and where we're gonna. Put when it. you're older, and I promise you, when you get you know in college or or later, uh, if you're playing, if you're lucky enough to play after college or something, you'll appreciate it. But when when you start appreciating love, uh, and heartache, um, which not just about like a man woman, or, but also for love of the game. Uh, you'll definitely appreciate Bull Durham for what it is. Okay, um, let's go. Let's go straight to our second movie. So our second movie uh, is another F tier for me. Bingo Long because I've never seen it. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> okay, so Grayson, what what I'm quickly learning about you as someone who appreciates baseball as much as you do, you love baseball. Um, you don't know what you're talking about when it comes. Uh, your movies are going to be like The Sandlot, of course. Everyone loves The Sandlot, but uh, so Bingo Long and his traveling all stars and motor kings about like the barnstorming era of like even before the Negro League started. Um, these guys, they'd go all around the South. They would play baseball. Um, they would draw huge crowds. 
in places sometimes where you know black people weren't allowed to do things that the white people were doing but they were doing it and they were doing it with flair and more fun and uh i think it's a billy d williams he plays bingo long he's the leader of this ragtag group you got richard Pryor, james Earl jones mm -hmm. um just a phenomenal fun movie based on a book which is based on sort of like that um 1920s 1930s uh negro leagues and barnstorming era so if you haven't seen bingo long i would put it certainly in probably the b category so that's where i'd put it but okay but wherever you want to put you haven't seen it all right so we're getting a theme here so every movie that i haven't seen is going f tier for me <laughs> um all right so our next movie is going to be 42 and what i think this is an s tier movie me personally i think this is an s tier movie chadwick boseman is so great in this movie harrison ford is great in this movie there's there's a uh what's it about what's what's 42 right, so about? 42 it's the story of jackie robinson uh breaking the color barrier so he starts in the kansas city monarchs and he gets a chance um from H harrison ford's character keep going uh and he starts in the minor leagues uh, and he initially started with number nine, my favorite number. So that has a place in my heart. Sure. Uh, but when he gets to the major leagues, the Brooklyn Dodgers, now the Los Angeles Dodgers, but the book, the Brooklyn Dodgers, uh, he becomes the first ever, uh, black baseball player in history in the major leagues. Yeah. Phenomenal movie. Phenomenal story. I think most people know the story. 42 retired by every major league baseball team. Right. Mm hmm. Um, certainly was a trailblazer and uh, you know, set the tone for all uh, black baseball players to follow. What, what else you got? Okay, next we got Benchwarmers. Okay. Ooh, Benchwarmers is a tough one because it's like a comedy baseball movie. It's if it was if it, there was like no comedy, probably like D tier. But since it's supposed to be a funny like Saturday night movie, I'm gonna put it in. Let's put it in B tier. I think B tier might be good. Very funny movie. Mm -hmm. uh, baseball is kind of front and center. There is a good message in it, right? Mm -hmm. About bullying, overcoming, those types of things. Definitely not a B. I would probably put a C uh, for me. But, you know, th this is your show. Mm -hmm. uh, Adam Sandler produced. All, all A couple of his buddies are in it, of course. But uh, wherever you want to put it, uh, I'll, I'll agree. But it is a lot, a lot of fun. Maybe not appropriate for some people under, you know, 13. Um, but super fun movie. Mm -hmm. Good thing I'm 14. <laughs> uh, here we go. Next one. Eight Men Out. Uh, ooh, Eight Men Out's a tough one. Uh, man, I haven't seen it in so long. Do you know it's about? Uh, you got remember? Charlie Sheen in it from Major League. Okay, so basically in 1916 or or 1919. What, 1919. Yeah. There were uh the Chicago White Sox were in the were in the World Series and the World Series back then had nine games instead of seven, so. Uh, basically they had like, they, they bet on them losing is essentially the, well, they were, they were, they were like threatened. I, I, I never part. read the book, but according to the movie, uh, most of the players were severely underpaid as a lot of the players were back in the, back in the day. And they had, they were fed up. Uh, a couple players were owed bonuses that the, the owner, uh, Comiskey was keeping from them. And so they conspired, uh, allegedly uh to throw the 1919 world series against the reds i believe mm -hmm. uh they were heavily favored to win the world series but um many of the players uh supposedly decided that they were going to throw the the series and because of that they were banished mm -hmm. from baseball uh very fun movie very very well acted movie baseball is okay but uh, I'd say it's solid B. I don't mm -hmm. know where you're going to go I with think, it. Uh, I think it'll be below Bingo Long, I guess. So low B tier, maybe. Okay. Uh, I'm good with whatever you do. Okay. Now, I want to point out a movie that is not on your list here. Mm -hmm. It's one of uh, your old coach, uh, Brandon Bostic, right? Oh, Mr. 3000. Mr. Yeah. 3000. Not on your list. Uh, you watched it a couple months ago. Um, Bernie Mac. Mm -hmm. um, what, what did you think I, of that movie? All right. So the premise is... Uh, Mr. Three Thousand. I forgot the character's name, but it's it's fictional, so it's not real. Uh, so Ooh, this okay. this character, this character, um, uh, basically he thought he had three thousand hits, and on the day he got uh, the hit number three thousand, he retired. Uh, and what like ten years later or something like that, uh, a guy found out on like Baseball Reference that he only had two thousand nine hundred ninety seven. So. He goes back. Uh, I forget. I forget what team. It was Milwaukee. No, he goes back to the Milwaukee Brewers after calling them a little league team, uh, and tries to get three more hits before uh, the season ends. So, uh, 
he gets one hit and then he hits a home run for some reason. Uh, it's it's a fun movie. I wouldn't put it. I put I'd it give, maybe like C tier. I'd give it a C. Uh, Angela Bassett's in it, so that mm-hmm. I mean that always uh ups that, but she's phenomenal. Uh, late Bernie Mac. Mm-hmm. But uh, sorry, Coach Bossick, if you not no one's listening to this, but if if you were, <laughs> uh, we, we left it off the list. All right, what you got? Bossick. Oh, you're oh, not- next. <laughs> okay, so this one has. Uh, I don't think it's a baseball movie. Hundred percent a baseball it, movie. Others would disagree. Brewster's Millions next one. I'm gonna put this in high D tier, high D tier because I don't think it's a baseball movie. This is way. This is more of a baseball movie than Die Hard is a, a <laughs> Christmas movie. Richard Pryor, John Candy. Do you remember what it's about? Uh, it's so this guy he he this uh, baseball player this baseball player. Uh, he has like a rich uncle that died or something I like that. I think so, yeah. Uh, and his uncle had like three hundred million dollars. Uh, and he gave him thirty million dollars to spend in thirty month, yeah. in in thirty days. And uh, if he didn't spend all of that, he would lose all the money. But uh, if he but, but if he if could he, spend if it all, he could spend it all. He could spend the thirty million dollars. He would get the three hundred million dollars. Yeah, and he couldn't get something that he could get or i i don't know he wasn't allowed to mm-hmm. have any uh there's baseball at the beginning and there's baseball at the end that's all i remember <laughs> all right well you put it where you put it okay. all right what else you got I'll just put a d tier next one field of dreams s tier s okay why what, what's it about uh so basically kevin costner um another baseball legend <laughs> uh he owns like this farm right yeah uh and he gets like these um, feelings or dreams. Uh, yeah, I, w- I would say visions, but it's yeah. more it's it's audible, right? So he hears mm-hmm. these voices, mm-hmm. and he like sees these like players. Well, right? first, 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 he hears a voice that says, "If you build it, they will come." Yeah, and he builds a baseball field in the cornfield in the cornfield yeah. in Iowa. Uh, and James Earl Jones is in it. They go to Fenway Park. Oh, I think what well, was Paul Rudd in it, but he's uncredited. I don't think Paul Rudd's. No, no, okay. Matt Damon, Matt and Damon, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, they're uncredited. They're in, in the like a, Fenway yeah, in the crowd. I remember that. So this, this movie comes out in '89. You got the poster right behind you, um, and immediately tearjerker for every dad because ultimately it's a song about or song. It's a movie about mm-hmm. fathers and sons, which you know baseball is. I think at its essence, it's it's a it's a great connector. From generation to generation. So if you watch the movie from the opening credits to the very end and you're not crying at the end, then you don't know what it's about. <laughs> no, I think there's something wrong with you. Like internally, you're you're not you're not wired properly. So uh definitely <laughs> definitely in the S tier. Um Kevin Costner, um, the second of his three baseball movies. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just remember in 2021, I'm pretty sure they, uh, the Yankees and the White Sox came to the Field of Dreams after they built it back up. Great game. Uh, White Sox won nine to eight. Um, I love that they're doing it. Um, and yeah, great movie. S tier. Next one. One that I don't really. Oh, look, you got Kevin from Grace Glove. What's up, well, Kevin? <laughs> uh, if you build it, they will come. Yes, sir. Uh, next one. I don't really remember. Watching this movie, I know I watched it. Little Big League. I, I, I don't really. Kid you know, your age. A kid my age is a manager of the Twins. That's pretty much all I know. His grandfather owns the mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. I'll let I'll let you do this one because I don't remember it. All right. Well, I mean, this thoroughly. is a movie that was when I was a kid. Came out like his his grandfather like owned the team or something, and um, he ends up you know uh, managing the the Minnesota Twins. And they're kind of like a middle of the road or a last place team, and he he gets you know he gets them on 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 you know rah rah onto like the, the playoffs and uh, you know a fun fantasy in which you know something would never happen. But what would you say, C tier? Uh yeah. Well, no, I probably maybe a, maybe a C D somewhere I'll in there. High, I don't, I don't like D to have. Too. I mean, it's so hard. It's so hard to make a baseball film fun and entertaining. So I don't like that for for many of them to go below the C tier, but um, it's your show. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. Ooh, for love of the game, the you're, third of the Kevin Costner. Your catcher ones. just. Oh, what up, catcher <laughs> Nomo? <laughs> um, uh, uh, for love of the game, another Kevin Costner movie that rounds out the three. The three that we're uh, talking about. I would say this is the middle of the three Kevin Costner movies. So you're putting it bef- ahead of. 
Bull Durham, Durham which you've never seen, and, and behind, behind Field, Field of Dreams. Dream. So I'm gonna say, let's just go B tier. What's here. what's that? What's uh for love of the game about? All right, for love of the game, it's this guy. He's getting really old. Um, <laughs> it's an older player. Yes. Okay, he's a pitcher. He's right? a pitcher, and I remember his like wife leaves him or something like that, and then he goes on to pitch a perfect game. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Oh yeah, my sorry bad, about bad, that. Bad, 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 By bad. the way, if you like this kid's podcast about baseball and you've never seen For Love of the Game, shame on you. Um, so yes, you got Billy Chapel as the character. He's like on his last legs as a professional baller. What up? This is Doc Brown. Yeah. Um, and as he's pitching what might be his final baseball game ever, mm-hmm. he's kind of like going back through his whole career and his love life mm-hmm. at the same time. Mm-hmm. Directed by. Steven Spielberg. I, Wrong. I don't know. Sam Raimi of the oh, Spider-Man yeah, 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 movies, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think I, I would give it a B uh, for sure. Where'd you put it in your... Uh, I said middle B tier, yeah. I'm, I said middle B okay, I, I, I'm, I'm down with that. Okay. Oh, okay. Next one. Let, let's save this one. Let's save yeah, that. let's okay. save this one. Let's Moneyball. Go. Love Moneyball. Okay. High A tier. I High love A-tier. it. High A tier. Okay. What's, love... what's that about? All right. So Moneyball, it's based on the 2002 Oakland A's, and uh, they wrote a book about it. Uh, obviously. Yeah, Michael um, Lewis wrote the book. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, Brad Pitt's in it he, as uh, as the general manager. Yeah, who I is forgot named... his name? Billy Bean. <laughs> Billy Bean. Billy Bean, guys. Billy Bean. Uh, yeah. Jonah Hill plays an amalgamation of a couple different people, mm-hmm. and this is that era of Moneyball is also kind of what the beginning of like that stats era, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So this guy Bill James, yeah. the mathematician, writes some book years before that, and they start figuring out that they can kind of. They can get the best out of a baseball player based on certain um, situations. Mm-hmm. On base percentage, stuff not, like that. Not so much what they've done for you before or you know, or how much you're paying them, but mm-hmm. what what their kind of value is based on what they think you know the math tells you. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of baseball teams, such as the, the Tampa Bay Rays, they kind of subscribe to it maybe too much. Mm-hmm. And um this this is where kind of really where it began. But the the fantastic how many games did the A's win? That- Twenty games in a row. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah. Pretty awesome. Spoiler warning for this entire live stream, guys. Also, the 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 quote: "How can you not be romantic about baseball?" Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it comes from the the film, and uh, definitely you should check that out. Next one. Oh, this is a fun one. Rookie of the year. Okay. I I kind of love this one. I'm gonna put it. Let's put very high B tier. Okay. Above- other stuff what's it about all right so this kid he is at school and he basically like trips and falls on a baseball and his arm gets like torn to shreds or something like that and he can throw like a jillion miles per hour he breaks his arm and when it Mm -hmm. when it fuses it something messes up with the tendons and now he's got like a super strong arm. yeah and so he becomes a pitcher for the chicago cubs very realistic yeah very Mm -hmm. i could do that a lot of fun though um uh so daniel stern plays like that weird bench coach right mm, that gets locked into doors or so something like daniel that. stern for some of you people that are listening or watching you, you'll know him as one of the robbers from home alone he also directed the movie he's also the voice of old kevin arnold in the wonder years phenomenal show from my youth okay okay uh let's see we mm. got Ooh, the well, natural. Well, that, is... we're, we're gonna wait for that one. Oh, okay, go, okay. okay go uh the rookie this one i very vaguely remember too um uh, you can do this one uh, you do this one. Okay, so the rookie is a true story about uh, a ball player, Jim Morris is his name, um, uh, who, you know, he wanted to be a, a professional ball player. Things don't work out. He had a family. He ends up becoming a high school math or science teacher in real life. And he's also the coach of the high school team. And I think his, his, uh, t- his uh, team, they challenge him to try out for a baseball team because they see that he can still throw the ball and he ends up getting signed by the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, not long, maybe My the favorite team. Yeah. Our favorite team <laughs> uh, a year or two after their inception, I think. Um, so a really good, feel good movie. It's a Disney flick and I think it's on Disney plus Dennis Quaid plays the, mm-hmm. the, and what would you rank it? Uh, me, I'd say B maybe behind for me. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Behind, okay, eight, behind eight, men eight men now. Yeah. Got you. Uh, right. Elias, that's you know one of the misfits, has chimed in over here on Instagram Live. Okay, okay now so, it comes down to the okay, big three. The last three that you have, uh, I'm mm-hmm. I'm gonna again your show. Mm-hmm. 
you know that one of them is my all-time favorite. I do. One of them is many people's all-time favorites. And, and one and... of them is many more people's all-time favorites. <laughs> so I'm going to let you pick right. which one. I am going to put them all S tier. Okay, but we're, I'm going to let all you pick S-tier. which one you talk about. First. Okay, let's go with The Natural, your all-time favorite. All-time favorite mm-hmm. based on uh, an, a short novel by Bernard Malamud. Um, the Natural starring... Uh, Oh, wow. Robert Redford as Roy Hobbs, number nine. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about a guy who, I mean, the natural says it all, right? So he's a corn cornfield kid, grows up loving the game. His dad dies. All he wants to do is play baseball. And something happens on his way to that journey. Um, and he gets sidetracked for 16 years in the, in the film. And then when he finally gets a chance, he literally tears the cover off the ball. Um, But what I love about it is that there's a lot of parables or they're like metaphors for life that are inside this story. And I and I remember very vividly, Mr. Brandon was my ninth grade honors English teacher. Uh, He shows the movie and then like tells us and compares it to like Shakespeare and like Greek gods and everything. And and it's a way to like to see the movie that you had never thought of. I think it's a phenomenal film. Of course, it's got this amazing ending. that Everyone knows where the lights go crazy because the, the, the ball hits the lights randy newman's uh iconic Wrigley field it's called Wrigley field the, the lights explode the sound comes up the, the tears come down on your face fantastic movie definitely s tier on your list mm-hmm. all right next one major league i oh, think wait, hold on though but for you yes s tier yes. also s tier okay also S-tier. all right uh next major, one. League. major league major league we have the poster right there yeah there it is okay right there Came out in eighty nine. Right, Major League also S tier. Um. All right, Charlie Sheen. Uh. You're not gonna know a lot of the other. Uh. You know Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Yeah. He plays very the old guy. I forgot his name. Uh. The catcher. The pitcher. Uh. Oh, his name is. His name is uh. Uh. I can't recall his name right now, but he's one of the coaches in the in Rudy. Another great movie. Mm-hmm. Um. But uh, then you got the All State guy, right? Who who plays Serrano. Yeah, uh, and then you've got uh, Tom Berenger, who was the catcher. Um, a comedy, eighty nine. It's like, what's cool about Major League is that uh, I think it's pretty real about like the the day to day of baseball mm-hmm. and how funny it could be. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I think you know it's a little bit more mature for yeah. audiences. Mm-hmm. You don't qu- you won't quite understand all of the things until later. There is a, you know, there's a love story component to it, but I think it's just a fun movie that uh, I think as fun as it is and as good as it is, I think it's underappreciated. Mm-hmm. All right. So Major League, definitely a comedy movie. Definitely uh, be- a thousand times better than the two sequels that they made. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the minors. Woo. Um, <laughs> all right. And last but not least, The Sandlot. Also S tier. I love The Sandlot. Okay. So. And I think. A lot of people. David Mickey Evans wrote, directed it. Uh, it's a love letter to, you know, baseball, growing up in your neighborhood, mm-hmm. playing. You know, a lot of kids your age don't really go out in the in the neighborhood and play anymore. They don't. But, you know, back in 50s, 60s, 70s, when I, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, I was in the street all the time playing, you know, tag football or playing stickball or something. So you've got this uh, phenomenal movie about, you know, these 10, 11 kids who just can't come together on this, you know, makeshift field. Um, it's got so many quotable lines in it, right? You've got Patrick uh, Renner plays the Bambino, or the mm-hmm. ha- great, Hambino, great Hambino, right? You got Smalls, and you're killing me, Smalls. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, you got Benny, the Jet Rodriguez. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, I, I find it fascinating. So you've interviewed, like, almost 100 people. Yeah. And when you talk about, like, their all-time favorite, baseball movie i would say what 85 percent talk say that the sandlot is their favorite it's or mm-hmm. they it's one of the ones they name right mm-hmm. yeah so for you it, you put it in your s tier so why don't you go through your s tier um, all right so i'm gonna go through all of them before we before we go so we got the natural 42 feel the dreams major league and sandlot and all in s tier uh, in A tier, we have Moneyball and what is that? Bull Durham. Bull Durham for Wait, you. You got to watch. I, I still Bull. say it's F tier. But... I'm telling you, in four years from now, you watch Bull Durham, mm-hmm. you're going to think so, so something quite different. Okay, okay. go ahead. Uh, in B tier, we got Rookie of the Year, Bingo Long and his Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings. I think I, think I said it right. It's, got it. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. Uh, for Love of the Game, Eight Men Out, and The Rookie. 
In C tier, we have lonely bench warmers. And in D tier, we have Little, Little Big League and Brewster's Millions, not a baseball movie. And two movies that we we talked about that we didn't have up here. It was Summer Summer Catch. Summer Catch. And... Uh, Mr. 3000. 3000 so apologies but sorry, sorry, on all, all of the of the 3000 people on instagram live that, <laughs> that are following if you have a favorite baseball movie that we haven't mentioned you can throw it up there uh if you want i'm trying to think were there anything any other baseball movies even even a little bit about baseball mr destiny oh whoa you know what movies we didn't um you know who's gonna be mad johnny damon uh guest of your show mm -hmm. right friend yeah. friend of the pod right fever pitch Oh yeah, Fever, Fever Pitch. Pitch. He was literally in the movie. <laughs> uh, we, you know, he's probably you know too busy to be watching this. No, no, he's watching it. Uh, I, I, I'm sure Fever Pitch uh, right. about the 2004 mm -hmm. Boston Red Sox. Oh, what's up, Doc? Um, really fun movie. It's actually mm -hmm. so Fever Pitch was based on a Nick Hornsby novel, which is about the soccer team uh, Arsenal in England. Mm -hmm. So originally it was a movie about a a soccer Cause... team. Because the pitch is the soccer field, right? Oh my gosh, you just blew I'm my so mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but then it was reworked. Uh, um, so you got Jimmy Fallon's in it and Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. She she produced it with her partner, and uh, I think that's a real fun movie. Yeah, uh, even though Jimmy Fallon's a Yankees fan in real life. In yeah. Real life. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, so apologies that uh, we left Fever Pitch mm -hmm. off this. If, so, you, if I, you guys have any other movies that we missed, then definitely just add a comment. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I think I I would throw Fever Pitch in the B in your B tier. Okay, I'll put just B and Fever Pitch. No, uh, okay. I can't spell. Okay, we can fix that later. Okay, well, um, um, maybe just the and sign. Oh, right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's see. Anyone said anything? Mm. Oh, okay. What are your final thoughts? Uh, my final thoughts is that um, uh, we definitely did this. We definitely did this, Dad. We definitely did. This. No. What are your final thoughts about baseball movies? Okay, because... baseball movies. Oh, um... you know, Angels in the Outfield is not yeah. on here, and that's because it is a very bad movie. <laughs> and, and Angels in the Infield, better movie. I will oh. say this about Angels in the Outfield, though. Um. Terrible movie. I watched it recently on an airplane. You can't really find it anywhere, um, but it's got Matthew McConaughey. It's got Neil McDonough. Uh, it's got um, uh, Danny Glover, Christopher Lloyd, um, a very, very young um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's got a lot of great actors in it, but the movie's just really terrible. And uh, and I I feel bad for Angels fans mm -hmm. because they've had two of the best baseball players in the world the last six, seven years. It couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And they have this movie that's named it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I haven't seen it, so I'd probably put an F tier anyway. Liam Weeks. What if, up, if, Liam? If you got a favorite uh, baseball movie, <laughs> Liam Weeks, you can throw it out there real quick. Yeah. But just so you you had you had a pretty great year. Um, you didn't do as many interviews um, this year as you've been done in the past. Are you going to keep your podcast going? I'm definitely going to keep my podcast going for the next year. Uh, hopefully, we can end season five soon. Season uh, five is going to be forever. Yeah. Pretty, you guys gonna, right. Try to find a good guest to get uh, to get done with season five. And then season season six. Uh, yes, Liam, we already did Field the Dreams. That's going to be in S tier. Um. So, hey, Happy New Year. I love being your dad. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I know it's kind of uh, schmaltzy, but I want to just tell you that... Uh, I think you're, what you're doing is cool because you're working on your mm -hmm. on your communication skills. And to all the people that have been on the show, any of the guests, and anyone that's subscribed to your show, thank you. Mom and dad, super appreciate the support you give this kid because what all we're trying to do is have him use skill sets that kids his age don't use that much anymore. It's mm -hmm. more of the this. And for the listeners, I'm doing like a texting motion. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we're, we're very appreciative of anyone who's supporting this kid. Uh, whether it's through the podcast or the Instagram or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and if you guys are wondering one last thing, this is this is going to be uh, on YouTube and uh, probably probably Spotify will put on Spotify. Uh, so you guys can actually see the tier list for yourselves in a full video. So this isn't just on Instagram live. Right. Mm. So can we show them the final tier list? Uh, oh, or the Instagram. Uh, hold yeah. on. Right I get it. Okay. So this yeah. is our final tier list. It looks like an F. <laughs> it does look like an F. 
F for fun, as in baseball podcasts for fun. Yeah, F for fun. All right. So uh, All right. we love everybody. Uh, Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Uh, happy New Year, guys! Uh, Merry Christmas! Wait, who am I? Ago. Where's your oh, Where's your this, this Where's your big, your sign out that you do for your? Oh wait, right. um, uh, don't forget to swing for the fences. See ya. How do I turn this off? <laughs> and bye, guys.